Holy frick, guys. Did you read those Xbox leaks? It's blowing my mind. I just found out that in a few years, Microsoft was planning on making a new Xbox. Man, this is... This is so unfair. People at Sony, now they know that Microsoft is going to make a new console. They're not going to stop at the Xbox Series X. It's going to totally blow up their business plan, dude. And this might blow your mind. <laughs> they might be making a new Elder Scrolls in two to nine years. Holy fuck. I thought they were just going to buy Bethesda and then not do anything with it. This is crazy, man. Phil Spencer must be steamed right now. That's a good name for the stream, too. Xbox leaks call that Lies of P. It kind of works. Starfield DLC and remakes are important leaks. You and I disagree on important. Oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, iron, important for sure. Remaking the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Well, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> What I was going to say is who the fuck cares. But obviously, a lot of people do, but I don't. I don't. Starfield DLC. I, it would make me more likely to play Starfield for sure if they released DLC that cut about 80% of the content from the game. I don't know if they've ever done that before, though. Maybe if they made the universe, like, a little smaller, I would, uh, I would check it out for myself. The universe as it is right now is too big. I don't see myself playing it. Would you play Starfield if it was the size of It's a Small World? You mean like um, approximately eight minutes long? Yeah. It would make me more likely to play it, I think. Thank you for asking. I did see that um, Aiden Ross is going to interview Kim Jong-un. I will be paying attention, um, obviously, because I would like to know the exact moment that World War III starts so that I can <laughs> get the high ground, I guess. I don't know what's going to save me, but um, teleport me. No, I think it's a joke. Thoughts on the Mike Babcock situation? It's so funny. For anyone that's not familiar, Mike Babcock is an NHL coach. Uh, he got fired like two or three years ago, and it came out. One of the reasons he got fired is for fostering a toxic culture like asking rookies to publicly rate everybody else on the team based on their perceived level of effort in, in training and the games. Kind of a rough position to put like an 18 year old kid in. Anyway, he got hired this summer by the Columbus Blue Jackets and just got fired um, before having even played a game. The allegation that turned out to be true, apparently, is that he was asking players for their phones and then he would use like Apple AirPlay to look at all their photos to quote unquote see what kind of person they are in their home life. <laughs> Which is crazy for one. And then it came out yesterday, the GM, who, so the guy who hired the coach was like, um, yeah, maybe I should have known like not to hire him because when he when we did the hiring process, he asked to see my phone to look through my photos and see what kind of a guy I am. And you're like, really? He did it to the, the his boss, too. And his boss was like, sure, no problem. It's just crazy. So you ever see the I forget the name of it, but it's that insane Netflix true crime documentary where like in the 70s, this family, their daughter gets kidnapped by their neighbor and then they phone call him and they're like, you know, hey, bring our daughter back. And they're like, sure, sure, sure. And he brings her back and then he has an affair with the mom and then they're interviewing the dad about it. And the dad is like, I'm ashamed to admit it. But, you know, in a moment of weakness, I had an affair with him as well. And you were like, really? You the dude who kidnapped your daughter? Both parents had an affair with him? Like, this is... But after the Mike Babcock uh, stuff, now I get it. By the way, did you see... I saw a, a, there was a viral Twitter thread that was like, what's your favorite... What do you think is the funniest movie moment this year? Of course, everybody's posting moments. I'm not insulting them. They are funny. 
Chris Pine uh, failing a critical role while being a bard and then just melting. That one's pretty good. But then the funniest comment that I, that I saw is, it's a little bit older, so it may not qualify. But for me, the funniest moment in cinema is when, in The Whale, the pizza delivery guy gets disgusted when he discovers that his regular client who orders a pizza from him every single day is a big fat guy. And I was like, is, that's a good point. Like, wait a minute, right? The guy orders uh, two pizzas from me every single night. And he opens the door and he's like, fat? You're like, of course. What do you think? Come on, man. The end of the movie is very funny, too. I, mean, I haven't seen the movie, but I have seen... Uh, I have seen that scene many times. I think I gotta see it. I don't know. I... I'm not allergic to a movie that takes itself seriously, but I think that there, I might find something in there. Hey, did you guys see that there was that missing uh, stealth fighter? And the dude, before he hit the ejection seat, he put the plane into autopilot? Oh, they found it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> they found it in the mountains this morning. Did it land or did it crash? It crashed? Rip. Rip to our tax dollars. Um, I believe that a pilot took it out for a flight and had to bail. But it's, a, it's equipped with incredibly cutting edge... ...stealth technology. So after he uh, ejected from the plane, it became borderline impossible to find it using, like, conventional reconnaissance methods. You can see how, like, a missing fighter jet might be, like, uh, kind of a problem. He wants to be American so bad. Europeans, when I say something about America, they're like, shut up, you are American. Americans, when I say something about America, shut up, you're Canadian. That's basically French. Like, there's, there's no winning, man. I didn't mean like someone was gonna get the fighter jet and like fly it. I just meant like, you know, what if the autopilot became sentient and then did like a, an aggressive maneuver towards a foreign government and like undermine the balance of power geopolitically speaking? Like that would be pretty bad too. That's the movie Stealth. That's what happens if Ask Jeeves gets a hold of the F-35 Raptor. Yeah, you're not supposed to stand there for that one. Did you see Ludwig ratio your tweet? Yeah, but being famous... That's not a legitimate ratio. In my opinion. Ludwig is like at least five times more famous than me. So a true ratio from Ludwig would need to be proportional to his follower count. He would need to at least 5x. It was for this very sponsored stream. What, what, what did I do to deserve that? What did he say? Listen, I'm just saying, if you put me and Ludwig in the same era, I'm taking LeBron. It's that simple. Quite frankly, I'm not sure I trust anybody who says otherwise. He says he likes the game! The streamer texted me the frick back! He said he didn't text because he was away at a retreat because he plays professionally the viola instrument. I said, I'll promise you this. If you check my mathematical calculation, I think you'll find the mathematic is right every time. Funny guy. It, it, honestly, I like it because it brings me back to millennial humor. Like, Gen Z is finally interfacing with millennial humor against their will. Millennial humor is just quoting funny things. And that's exactly what this era of popularity has brought us back to. I don't think I'm ready for the grimoire. I think we got to do that next day. 
Thoughts on Dan going back on TV? People in my, have been in my chat saying Dan's trending on Twitter today. Thoughts on Dan going on like some show? Is anything like confirmed? Is anything shouted out? Or is it all speculation from the Big Brother stands out there? Because I, I couldn't take it if this was a one guy situation. He's going on Amazing Race with Julie Chen as his partner. I think Dan would do great on the Amazing Race. I also think you made that up, but it, you know, just, just things you would love to see though. Oh! Well, we're riding on an emotional high. Exclamation point, Ravens watch. You can defeat the boss. The boss is not undefeatable, I promise. I would like to continue to see the, the shores of Storm Island, which is the new content that has just made it out earlier this month in Raven's Watch. It's available now. Check it out for yourself. I've never seen this before. I'm very scared, though. Yeah, yeah. Me at my kid's 14th birthday party. I'm like a cool dad drinking a seltzer. How you kids doing? Anybody need a ride? You want to go home? They're talking about R-rated movies. You don't want to be uncomfortable? We just recently let you watch PG-13s. No, I haven't seen Scream 2. I heard it's very gory. Good for you. Uh, please fade out. I can't keep this going forever. Bars, bars, bars.